for you, looking back on your career, obviously you've uh, been in business a while and one of the strongest suits that you have is marketing uh, and being able to get people to you know, fight for products because they love it and they, they hear so much about it. Um, how do you think about trying to spark a little bit of momentum behind a product? Is there like a framework that you follow? Is there certain things that need to get integrated like controversy or anything like that? Yeah, I think, you know, having a successful business is built around the product starts with one thing and one thing only. It's product integrity. Do people want the product and is the product good? And I think you guys will find that a lot of businesses have taken off because somebody just was in the right place at the right time with the right product. And I think that's really it. There's no crazy marketing strategy. I can tell you a playbook and there's definitely like, I have a little playbook for clothes and how I go about marketing a clothing business, but the clothes is redundant. If you don't have pieces that people want, I think it all stems back to product market fit. And if you have a product that people want, it will work. And if you don't, it won't. So one thing that I was really stuck on and I learned early on was stop trying to push products that people do not want. The second I touched a gel blaster, I knew this would be the biggest thing ever. Right. And it made my job fairly easy. I mean, I take credit for it and I still will. But at the end of the day, if the product wasn't so good, you know what I mean? The thing would have failed. I put that in people's hands and people want to play with it because it's better than Nerf. It's better than paintball and airsoft in the respect that you're not going to completely murder yourself if you get slapped with one, you know, and right. it's a better mousetrap of the three. So it's one of those things where it's like, you know, Von Dutch was easy again, like I credit to my playbook, but at the end of the day, the designs were fire, the logo is fire, the product is fire. So at the end of the day, all I needed was my touch. So beyond anything, it's product integrity. Like people try and get so emotional and attached to certain products and that's what crushes them. They just keep trying to beat a dead horse, beat a dead horse. It's like, dude, like the reason why I got into Pudgy is because I knew the product was so fire. They just needed some operational experience. Like you don't trade that much volume with no leadership and no utility. If the product is not fire, the art is fire, whether you disagree with it or not, whether you like it or not, it doesn't really matter to me. It's personal preference at the end of the day, numbers do not lie. You know, and when I bought this thing, it traded hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue, you know? So like, what are you going to say? Like, <laughs> That's great. You know, like it, it, it clearly is magical to people, you know, whether you agree with it or not, or whether you resonate with it or not, it doesn't matter because other people do. And as long as other people do, I knew, okay, well, look, this is the same playbook with Von Dutch, the same playbook with Gel Blaster, the exact same playbook. Yeah. Take something that resonates with people and blow it out of the fucking stratosphere. It's what I do best. So I knew coming into this, people resonated with the penguins. So blow it out the fucking water, which is what I'm going to do. Bro, can I, I ask it. you something a little, uh, I don't know if you can answer this or not, but when you bought that, because you just mentioned pudgy penguins, for example, like, you know, they've done hundreds of millions or hundred million, whatever in ETH, you bought it for 2.5 mil. That's like, what the fuck? Fire. That's crazy. Uh, does that, the person that you bought that from, um, I know who it is, but do they still get a percentage of the equity of the, of the IP or you bought it like fully? 100%. Took, completely took it off their hands. It was good for them. It was, it was a fire sale for me. It was a great deal for me. And I basically got them out of a peculiar situation that they didn't want to be in anymore. So yeah. it was great. 